This is my little fit of the day. Wait, it looks so much better with my bag. But I think it's nice with the bag. There's like a really good story behind this dress. So the inside is like this. And essentially this dress is inside out. So I found it in a charity shop in Ireland and the ins or the outside, like the actual dress was this. So it was neon green and like purple zebra print. Um, and I saw it and I thought the neckline was really nice. And then I looked up, like I, I flipped it over and this color was the inside. And I thought, oh my God, that color is so cute. So what I did was I turned it inside out. I cut it short. It was literally like down here. And then I took it in at the sides because it was really wide. I'm so annoyed I didn't take a picture of it before because it turned out so well. Um, so the zip is inside out. So like every time I have to zip it down, I have to go from here. And then I never got time to take off the tag. But it's, it's pretty short, to be honest. Um, and I don't really, I, I'm not crazy about, uh, Jesus. I'm not crazy about a spaghetti strap on my shoulders. I just feel like I have, I don't think it's like the most flattering thing for my body. I think I prefer like high neck stuff, which is probably why I never wear it. But um, I really like it today. Anyway, everybody's gone home except for me. So I'm going to vamos. The girls are gone to buy flower crowns for midsummer tomorrow. So I need to go to a florist to buy a flower crown, but I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. I need to find a place. But I'm spending midsummer with Philippa's family. So Candace is coming, my best friend Sophie's coming, uh, and then a couple of other people that I've met through Philippa. But yeah, it's gonna be like 100 people. Um, it's in her grandparents' house, like just outside Stockholm. So it's gonna be like Sweden on crack. Midsummer is like the most Swedish experience you could ever have in your life. There's a lot of very strange traditions, like dancing around a pole. Um, you eat like very weird food. It's not weird, it's just like very traditional Swedish food. And there's just lots of like singing and dancing and schnapps and oh, I was so excited. Two weeks ago I didn't have plans. And then um, me and Sophie were trying to like figure out what we were gonna do and then Flip was like, just come to ours. I was like, yeah. So that's so fun. I wish Anglo was here as well to come. But um, she's back in a couple of days. I can't freaking wait for her to come back. We feel like we've lost an arm without her at the office, so that's exciting. I'm gonna go sit down in the cafe and finish my article and go to my date. <laughs> Just got back from my date. It was awful. Really bad. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I thought he was an arsehole. So I told him, look, I don't think it's a vibe, and then I left. Awkward. I'm just trying on my dress for midsummer tomorrow. It, it's too low. Oh, I really don't want to have to crack open the sewing machine. I got this dress from Nine Crows in September or something. Um, I saw it on Instagram and like it was about to get cold so I didn't really have anywhere to wear it. And then I forgot about it. Also my tan is kind of fucked so I think I might need to do that. My um, arms are nice and my shoulders and all my upper body but my legs it's just like gathered at my knees and hasn't taken to my calves. Um, but I'm so tired and I don't have an exfoliator. So I think, I've nothing sorted, but I think I might just go to bed and wake up early and do it. Um, but this is the plan, the midsummer outfit plan. So we'll go to Flippers at like, uh, I think 12 tomorrow. Um, dance around the midsummer pole. I'm gonna have to bring some flat shoes as well because there's gonna be a lot of running around and also some swimming togs if we go swimming in the lake because it's so hot. Good morning. Happy midsummer. I couldn't sleep last night because it's so hot. It's like 20, 26 degrees during the day. And my apartment kind of operates as a sauna most of the time. So I'm gonna have to get a, uh, not even a fan because it's so hot, like a, portable air conditioner basically. Anyway, I just woke up, it's like half eight and I'm going to run to the shop to buy an exfoliating mitt for my tan. And I'm gonna buy something else as well. And I have flower crown. So the plan is to meet at 12. Oh my God. 12. Nine now and I have to pick up a dress at Sophie's. Do I scrub off all my tan and reapply or do I just leave it? Oh. 
It's really not good. Okay, I just decided I don't have time to go and do that. Okay, well then I'm gonna get rid of my gross old tan. I'm gonna put on a fresh layer on my legs. I'm gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna iron my dress. Do my makeup, hit the road, go to Sophie's. Cause I have a white dress that I like and she has my green dress. So I wanna be able to try them both on. And then we're gonna leave, buy alcohol, get our flower crowns and meet everybody at the train station. I have glass in my toe and I don't know what toe it is. Okay, I found the toe. I can't actually see any glass in it, so maybe it just got cut. I'm using the Avida B Curly. Um, I use it with my curly hair actually when it's damp to like set the curls, but also I use it if I've done my bouncy blow dry once it's dry. I just kind of scrunch it because it's made to keep curls in place. Um, so I reckoned, you know, why don't I just try it on my uh, fake curled hair? And it really works. I've been using it for like a year. Um, and I'll notice like if I, if I don't set it with this, by the end of the night, it'll just be a frizz ball. So it actually really makes a difference. And then like a tiny bit of hairspray. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this dress. I might just, Hope for the best. I'm in such a rush because I need to go collect flower crowns from the florist for me and Sophie. But I'm happy, I just need to put on my shoes, bring flats, swim and togs, and yeah, I need to go. So this is my predicament because these I much prefer, but I literally can't walk on them for more than like 10 minutes. And these, eh, I got these in Mango. I actually wore them last midsummer, but I just don't feel like they're as cute with the dress. Hmm. Okay, I am ready to go. So I'm gonna change my shoes, not wear these glasses or have this bag with me when I actually sit down. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of changing. Secure the flower crowns. Okay, we just got to Philippa's house. This is so embarrassing. I have to change my dress because the bus was so hot, I was sweating and I just put on tan. So I have like these, oh you can't see them, brown marks on the dress from my sweat. So luckily Sophie brought an extra dress. So I'm gonna put that on. Okay, Brianna, tell us about your outfit. Okay, so the dress I thought was vintage, but it's not. It's H&M. They scammed you. They scammed me, they told me it was vintage. It's not, but it's H&M. You would never know though. Literally no, never I know. No, I thought it was like a 90s yeah. Kate Moss vibe. And the feet are mine. Um, flower crowns I bought for an extortionate price of 500 crowns. Oh my god. I know. I know. They're probably... And the beer it. is... The beer is Stella. There we go. Not sponsored. <laughs> Candace's turn. Okay, talk me through your outfit. So, flower crown, raised by this lovely lady in New York City. Amazing. Uh, the glasses are vintage Chanel. Yes, I'm just gonna get a little close. <laughs> Bag in Notting Hill, London. Oh, did ago. you? Yeah, the dress is Ghani. Ghani, amazing. The shoes are Maguire shoes. Maguire Canadian shoes. Canadian brand. The beer is Stella. 
and the glow is by myself. Pants, so here's white regular pants and H&M shoes. H&M shoes. Are the pants Jay Linda Bray is up? Yes. So these are old ones, but um, they always come out in handy when midsummer's around. I'm going to pass it over to uh, the lovely Flippa. <laughs> the professional. <laughs> I'm wearing a vintage dress we bought in Copenhagen. Yeah. I got vintage fry boots that usually go for like $400. Where did you get them? I got them at Beyond Retro for 300 pounds. And what? You know, because I started to look them up after yeah. you told me about them. So insanely expensive. And that's it, I'm just naked out there. <laughs> Are you wearing knickers? Uh, yeah, but they're getting a little sweaty, I think. I'm oh, because I don't have any knickers on. <laughs> okay, Mom, what are you wearing? We're doing an outfit run through. What, what is it called? Gimaguas. Gimaguas, yeah. Oh, is that the brand? I'm, I'm, I'm wearing Gimaguas <laughs> from Spain. El <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite content. I took this one. Number two. Number two. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. My name is Emmy, and we love you. And we love you. Mwah. Mwah. Happy Midsummer. Happy Midsummer. <laughs> oh, is there a room? It's a video. <laughs> Having some penis lollipops, but mine broke. <laughs> oh, so close. Okay, Sophie, you got this. Uh. <laughs> Just taking a little time out. I've got red wine on my dress. And I'm going to now play Brennball, which is like a Swedish version of Rounders. Let's go! Hey! Ho! Let's go! Hey! Ho! Let's go! Oh, gin and juice again, huh? Angus, man. What's up? Can you say hi to the vlog? Hi, vlog. Is that it? Say something better. Uh, you know that you were being so entertaining before. What's up? I was, I'm trying to compare the Swedish guests to the American guests. Uh, wait, I'll be right back. I got something. I'm back. What's up? USA! USA! Right guys? Right guys? <laughs> Woo! We love it. Beautiful. Zachary, get in the bike. Baby, lift the stand. Take the stand up. Take the stand up. Oh, I thought I was a writer. I thought I was a city company at home. So we're back at Flippers, going for a dip. It's very hot. <laughs> Amazing contribution. I need to get my as always. Get this factor fifty on. Yeah, fact. Just gonna have a little swim and then maybe go to Stella's for a separate swim. <laughs> a little bit hungover. Oh, good. One of these. Wait, 
Wait. I said he's a 10, but he's in a crypto, like, uh... No, that turns me on. Really into cryptocurrency. Oh. Like stocks and stuff. It, yeah, bring it down, like, two. Oh, uh, uh, no, this is That's three. Okay. Waiting for our taxi to go back to the Cité. The Cité. Oh, is that him? Oh. No. I don't think so. Unless there's passengers. <laughs> Best midsummer ever? Yeah. 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 Best midsummer ever. Yeah. Best midsummer. We have to top it next year. Cheer that. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> okay, who, who are our top players from midsummer? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Angus. Angus. American Angus. American. Brilliant crack. Um, <laughs> Mia. Yeah. The mother. Yeah, yeah. Flippa's mom. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. I agree. Uh, Jesper, legend. Hilarious. Uh, your man singing there. Poo. 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 I liked him. Hilarious. Good fun. Who else? Um, I mean, us. <laughs> us, yeah. Oh. Back to the city. Back to the motherfucking city. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lol, surprise. Um, it's still Saturday. It's like 11 pm. And I agreed to go for drinks because Sophie suggested it first and then I was like no no I'm too tired like I just want to go to bed after the whole weekend and then she got home and then she changed her mind but then I was now ready to go for drinks so now I'm going for drinks and I'm so tired I'm actually exhausted um this is my silly fit I literally I'm so tired I didn't know what to wear and I just washed my hair and put some mm. Put some curling cream in it. I'm just at Joe and the Juice because I needed to charge my phone and I was really hungry. So I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. So they're in charge of my phone and I got myself a cheeky little juice and a sandwich, the Serrano one. Class. It's so hot. I think it's Stockholm today. It's like 32 degrees or something. So I'm gonna go swimming. I've just actually bought some togs from H&M because I didn't have any. I had like, I have one bikini that I got second hand last year. But I don't like it anymore. No, I got it like two years ago. So I just got this little um, black number from H&M. Um, I couldn't try it on and I can't return it, but it's an eight and it's like a plain black swimsuit. So I think it's gonna be fine. So I think I'm just gonna go swimming in this. I have literally nothing else with me. But I think I can just change into this. But also it's nice to sit down because my period just came um, and it's hit me like a ton of bricks. I haven't had it in a while. So I also just needed to sit down. I was walking around and I literally was like, I can't stand up for another 10 minutes. I'm wearing my um, cowboy boots. I never wear these anymore, actually. And they are quite comfortable. The only thing is I just put on tan. And I think they're rubbing against it. So it's gonna be awkward if I have like a line. I had such a good weekend with Midsummer. And then we went out last night. Just went to this like crap bar with the two lads. So I'm knackered, but I'm so glad we went out. The reason I came into town was to collect my laptop from the office to edit uh, this vlog, like the midsummer vlog, um, and the door was closed. So that was my plan for the day, to literally go in, get my laptop, go home and edit, and also have to write an article, and now I can't do that. So that's really annoying, so I feel like I never have like a full day free. And I was really excited to edit, but hopefully I can just do it after work tomorrow. But I only have three more days until I go to Ireland. Um, and Engla just got back from France and Candice is gonna leave to actually go to France in like a week or something. So, oh no, cause yeah, I have three days basically to see them. So we probably will end up doing something after work tomorrow. So I don't really know when I'm gonna edit. I really want to, I really desperately am craving just to like sit down and spend like five hours doing it. So that's annoying, but I mean, I'm going for a swim instead and people watching and running around so no complaints hello i'm good i'm good how are you i just finished my swim and i'm starving i'm about to make the food that i have been making i was making it every day for a couple of months but i've kind of stopped now it's essentially a galette but apparently i'm using like the wrong pancakes first because i don't want to make pancakes every time i have to make it so i just buy these thin pancakes but the Swedes have told me that's like they're for like sweet desserts that you have with like jam. But I make um, a galette with them and it's so easy. And basically I just fry up some bacon and then I have it with ham, bacon, cheese, spinach, chilies and tomatoes. How nice is this 
um, swimsuit. It just does the job. It doesn't have like one of those ridiculous bums. It's like a thong. It's like a really nice level. And it's also nice and wide here. I hate the ones that are like too thin. <laughs> it's so greasy, but so yummy. Wait, let me just open it. So bacon, cheese, ham. There is spinach, but you can't really see it. <laughs> anyway, it's very buttery, very, very delicious and unhealthy. Because I don't have my laptop, I'm just going to listen to a podcast. I have three. I listen to Sophie and Cynthia, the girls' bathroom. I listen to My Therapist Goes To Me. And I listen to Spencer and Vogue. And Tony Cantwell. Tony Cantwell is a funny one because his sense of humour is so specific. I think he's the most he's the most hilarious person ever but I can imagine so many people would listen to it and be like what is he on about hilarious if you've ever seen the video with like Plune and Marius about Klongos that's who it is um I would recommend it if you feel like your sense of humor is a bit fucked I'm gonna close off my midsummer vlog here I have had the best weekend every year midsummer has just been so good it's always such a special weekend because you do all these mad traditions and games and it's so different than any other weekend you would ever have. Like it's not just like going out and drinking. Like it's so much more special than that. And you're all, I've always been like in the country with a big group of people and it's always been peop like a gang of people that I don't know and I've always been with Sophie. And vlogging was so much fun. I was telling Flip it was so funny because when I got there, I was a little bit nervous to vlog. Not nervous, but I was like, oh, will I vlog this or not? I've never seen so many cameras in one place. Like everybody had them. Flippa's brother is in film school in LA and he brought all of his friends over who also were in film school. So they all had like proper rigs, like they were filming everything. And her dad films everything. Like he goes around with one of these like old style camera recorders. And her cousin's a vlogger. So she was vlogging and it was just so nice like to feel so comfortable about it. Um, I probably should have vlogged more, but I was just having so much fun and, and had a couple of drinks. But thanks so much for watching. And I hope it gave an insight into like Swedish midsummer, if you're not Svensk. It's just hilarious. I don't know why every country doesn't do it. It's just like the summer version of Christmas. It's so fun. And yeah, we just, me and Sophie, we felt like we were like part of the family by the end of it. They just were so welcoming. Next vlog is gonna be my trip to Ireland. Cause I'm going to Ireland for my sister's wedding. I don't know how much she's gonna let me vlog that, probably not, um, but I'll show you like bits and my bride's my dress and stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Scotland for a music festival. Basically the only reason I'm going is to see Paolo Nettini because I'm obsessed with him. Um, so I'm going with my two Swedish flatmates from Lund and I have some English friends going and my friend Johnny from Glasgow is going as well. So I'll get to see him. Um, but yeah, exciting times. I love summer. There's so many fun things happening. Okay, see you later. Hey, Dola. Slon.